Uh, I am Kamara Thomas. Uh, I'm a, I call myself a song speller and a storyteller based in Brooklyn, New York right now, about to be based in Durham, North Carolina, moving there in a couple weeks. I just have a fam bunch of family that moves down there. Oh yeah? Yeah. I'm very excited to go to Durham. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. Um, so some uh, thoughts in regard to Sekou Sundiata and um, you know, I I um, I have to admit I was I was not as aware of him as I wish I had been all my life until I was asked to be on this panel and uh, once I started to research and uh, study up on on what he was doing and and the impact he's had um, on on the culture I you know it left me very inspired and. Uh, um, I've been recently, uh, uh, you know, going into my own, uh, you know, redefining my own purpose artistically and uh, studying up on him and, and really delving into the work that he was doing so deep um, has really helped me to start redefining my own role as an artist in the culture and, um, and I really think uh, that what he was doing, how he was doing it, um, and the the deep purpose with which he pursued his visions um, is is really it's actually kind of progressive in that um, at least people in my genre in in music um, the people that I you know that that I'm really accustomed to interacting with um, you know it's very progressive in that. Um, you know, there, there's less of a focus on on where this is going in the in the kind of hierarchy of the music business or um, what you know making it or um, you know going and getting yourself into the mainstream, which I think is I know was a big dream of mine um, when I was becoming an artist and pursuing my my creative visions, but. Um, you know, and I don't know if that was part of his dream or not, but what I really was inspired by was the, was the deep purpose with which he pursued these visions. Um, and, you know, I, I really think that artists, uh, and especially musicians in this day and age, are really going to have to learn how to define themselves differently in the way that Siku Sundiata did. Um, just because of the nature of, of what our economy is doing, what, what uh, the music business is doing, um, these expectations of kind of mainstream, you know, um, excess, basically, you know, like being some kind of influence to an excess is, is not so realistic for us anymore. But, um, you know, our expectations of this have maybe left uh, left us bottoming out in terms of purpose and relevance and, um, you know, just just real weight and depth to what we're doing. So, you know, that that's what I really have to say about him is that it's, it's re-inspired me to, um, to deepen what I'm doing to, um, and to really kind of separate out that that idea and mythology around um, what it means to pursue an artistic career and refocus on the creative vision at hand so that's my that's my piece <laughs>